Hey guys, welcome back. Today it's time for ornament number two. So we're gonna be making a snowman and this uses up some paracord scraps. The colors aren't super particular in this one, but I'm using black, brown, and then candy cane for a nice scarf. It uses some wood beads, two at one inch and one a little bigger than that. And then I've got some 16 gauge craft wire. And then for a face, we'll be using some acrylic paint, but you can use whatever you have at home, whether that's watercolors or Crayola markers or colored pencils or whatever you have. So with that, let's dive right in. We'll start off by assembling our snowman so you can set your colors aside, and we're just gonna use that black cord. I'm gonna make a diamond knot in the top of this, but any knot that makes a simple loop is gonna be just fine. So you can use a, a simple overhand like that, just so that there's a loop to hang it on the tree. Once you have whatever knot that you're gonna use tied, we can go ahead and thread those beads on. So we'll do the two small ones first. And then that big one. And then we'll set our snowman aside while we build the arms. For those arms, you wanna get your brown cord, or you can use black again if you don't have brown. And then about five inches of our craft wire. A paper clip will also do nicely if you don't have that. Once you have your wire cut, we want to thread that into the middle of our brown cord. So you'll need to cut off one or both ends. if you have it melted, and thread that all the way in. You can also take out the core strands if you want. It doesn't really matter, it's just whatever is easiest for you to work with. I've got about a foot of brown cord here, so I'm gonna thread it all the way to the middle because we'll be tying a knot on each end to keep that wire in place. Once you have that threaded in, fold your wire portion in half and get a pliers if you need to fold that. But it's pretty flexible, so I can do it with my fingers too. And then go about a half inch in from the end and flip those arms back out to the side. So it should look like that. Then in each end, we're just gonna tie an overhand knot and that'll keep our wire in place. Cinch that down right at the end of the wire. Do the same thing on the other side. And then you can go ahead and clip your ends off and melt them with lighter. Now that your arms are complete, let's add it onto the snowman. So what we wanna do is go right through the middle of those two center strands, and then force that bent portion up into the head. Then we'll take those beads and bring them back up. And now we can tie just an overhand knot, or again, a fancier knot in the bottom to keep all those beads in place. You want to make that knot as tight as you can to the snowman's body so that we don't have any gaps in between. Then you can go ahead and clip those ends as well. And if you still have some flex room in the middle of your cord, you can adjust the knot up on top by taking the slack out on this end. All that's left to do now is add the scarf. So we'll take our candy cane cord and we'll take the inner strands out of that. So clip off both ends and just remove all those inner strands. Then we're gonna tie that on with just a simple overhand knot as well. There we go and then clip your scarf to whatever length you want it to be. And you can actually fray the end so that it looks a little bit more like a scarf.
There we go. We'll add the face and that'll be done. And our snowman is all done. I'm not a painter. I admire painters, but I'd say this turned out pretty well. We'll wait for that to dry and then wait three more weeks to put it on our tree once we have a tree. As always, we'll put links in the description to where you can find the supplies, minus the paint this time. And like we said in our last video, let us know what you want to see us make next, whether that's part of this Christmas series or even after that as well. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.